Hey everybody, this is Chandler. Let's talk about being a leader. This comes up a lot in my daily interactions uh, when I talk with people and when I'm interacting with my own team. It's how do I get people to do what I want them to do? <clears throat> and I think it comes down to creating a culture of the fact that you're the leader, they're following what you're doing, and they always believe in what you're doing. <clears throat> and when you're a leader, you don't get to complain to your staff about how hard your life is. You don't get to complain to your staff about how difficult things are. When no one shows up to a workshop you put together, you don't get to sit there and be somber with all your staff members while they're bummed out. It's your responsibility to pump them up, get them going again, get them excited and tell them that it's going to happen. It's going to work. Things are going to make sense. Your staff doesn't need to see you emotional. They don't need to see you break down. They need to see you being the strong one, the one that's going to lead them in the direction they need to go. And how do you establish this? Well, you need to tell your staff, you need to have meetings with them all the time. And you need to tell them, this is what I need to accomplish this week. This is who's assigned to do it. This is when it's due. And then that can't be the end of it because people aren't going to do it. And if that's the end of it, that's not actually going to happen. So what you need to do is actually set it up. So you tell people, all right, this is what's due. And then you check with it, check in with them a couple of days later and then tell them, all right, this is due. You check in with them a couple of days after that. And then you continuously check in with them to make sure that what they're doing is on point. They're doing it right. They're not getting frustrated because they're not able to do it. And that you actually know what's going on and you're following up with them. So it encourages them to actually keep doing it and they don't fall off the wagon. Now, if they don't do it, we often run into the situation in small businesses. What happens if your staff just doesn't do it? Well, then you have to you set the contracts up front when you hire them. Like this is what's do, this is what my your responsibilities are. These are your roles. This is when you have to do things, and this is when I want them to. And when you set that up, that now you can say, hey, you didn't do this. Here's your first reprimand. It's verbal. Then it's written. Then it's another written. And then they're fired. Some, sometimes you got to fire those fuckers when they don't listen to you. And if you continuously let these people just do whatever they want, you let them walk all over you, you let them get away with not doing it, and you let them f get into the feeling that you need them, they're going to walk all over you all the time. So you need to establish the fact that, yes, you're a leader, yes, you can be friends, but there's also things they need to do. There's contracts you set up front, and if they don't do it, there's consequences for their action. Now, in addition to that, I know it sounds like you got to be like Mr. Straight and Narrow with your staff, but you need to realize that your staff should be more important than your customers in all your environments, everything you do, because they're going to be the direct representation of your brand, of your culture, of your business, of your identity to the customer. And if you can showcase the customer that your, your staff's happy, your staff's pumped, your staff's always in good spirits, then they're going to showcase that to the customer and the customer is going to be happy. So when you think about the most important people in the hierarchy of your organization, your staff needs to be number one, more important than your customers every single day of the week. Treat them right, treat them really well, treat them to, in a, to a level to where they know what they have to do, but they also know that you're a really good leader, you're always going to be there for them, and you're going to have people that will follow you to the ends of the earth. Hopefully this helps. Now go out there and be a leader.